feel about these ultralight airplanes? Do you feel like they're safe? If I could fly again, I'd have one. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love them. What's the draw? What's the appeal? You can sit there at 500 feet and fly around and see deer, see turkeys in the field. Jim Soule has been the airport manager at Lowell City Airport for more than 15 years and has been flying for longer than that. He was recently grounded after a heart attack. It's just pure recreational flying, the pure joy of being in the air. And if you don't do it, it's a very hard thing to explain. And so is what happened this morning. He told the seller that he had a lot of experience in airplanes like this not this particular model. This picture was taken just minutes before 67-year-old Brian Bowker came crashing down during a test flight. He and his wife came up from New Mexico to potentially purchase it. All of a sudden the airplane veered to the right and the runway is over there between those cones. So only he and God knows what happened at that time because the airplane just came over this way. How common are these crashes? It's the first one that we've ever had here as an ultralight. Soul and others tell us the ultralight planes are like a motorcycle or boat. They're a recreational toy for adults with the potential for danger. But he doesn't feel any new regulations or safety features will change that. And unfortunately, sometimes accidents happen. It was a terrible thing. 